Hey everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Rio. In the last episode, we did. Hold on, I get there. We did Stand Your Men on Carnival Dance. And yeah, that was a pretty short and easy episode. Uh, mission. Uh, not a mission. <laughs> Event to do. And this episode, we're gonna be doing this again, except this time on crazy mode, and. See what our host on crazy mode is. What, how crazy does it get? Well, you're gonna be a little surprised who it is. It's actually. Um, here, here, we'll just see, but we're, we're, we'll just see when we watch this cutscene. Looks like it's Nigel. Is our host for Crazy Mode? Yeah, it's Nigel. Okay, and that was kind of funny laugh right there. Um, Nigel had that end of that end of that cutscene. It was kind of funny. I kind of like that part of the cutscene. And um, yeah, um, Nigel, Nigel, um, he makes he makes this mode a little more difficult than you're you, than you think it will be. Sometimes he'll actually take marmosets away. Not kidding. He also, he'll actually take marmosets away from you in this in this mode. So, um, but luckily, uh, he'll put a little challenge. It's hard to explain it, but a little balloon will pop up for each character. Press. We press the button. Which is A, by the way. Um, it'll, that number is how many you lose for each of the marmosets. For each of the marmosets is how many you'll, you'll lose. But a number, it's different paths for each one. <laughs> Sometimes it might be the high score wins all of them. The amount each of the player loses. Here, you'll just see when that happens. Okay, and I am struggling a little bit at this minigame. Oh, my goodness. Looks like Peter won this first minigame. I'll get you dead. Okay, that was uh, bad. Okay, what? Well, well, we got a little bad start here. So, looks like we earned two marmosets for this first minigame. Wow, I just chose a hard one for us. Who among you managed to grab the most mama sets? It was Pedro. That's the one of us. Dude. Oh, okay. It's not gonna happen yet, so alright. 
gets the skill that's getting a chance. People, this is getting tedious. Let's continue until we have a winner. Yeah. Let's see if I can win the next one. Alright, so Lucy's chain gang. I just need to get a lot of points. I'm I'm pretty uh, that one, that one, that one I should have trouble on. Anyway, this is the last. I don't think I explained how this works, but I'm sorry I didn't explain all this yet. But I think I should explain it now. Um, I'm gonna be playing this and for that front swap. For I'll be doing all those, all those modes. Doing all the modes for, for each of the characters, and every every time I did, did the, all those modes with two different characters, I start I raise up the difficulty a little bit for each one. Six in total, so I'll be playing all the modes twice with with for each, for each difficulty. So two of them will be easy, two of them will be medium, two of them will be hard. And after that, that'll be on the that'll be in that will be on the death walkthrough. So this grab so this is gotta be kind of a long walkthrough to complete. So far it's easy right now, so we're we're halfway done with easy. After this one. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I struggle. I was struggling some of that on easy difficulty. Alright. Did a lot better. Okay, Pedro got the second, so that means he earned three minus sets. Okay, I'd be a max score. It's 900 points there. Just like a thousand more. Alright. And that would be me, Nigel, who is also the villain in the movie. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. This, see those numbers? That's how many marmosets each of the players lose. Ah, I lost two. That's alright. That's not too many. Seven in total, wow. Crazy. Yep, there is getting interesting. Nigel. Alright, so whoever gets the highest number for this. Win seven armor sets. Oh, hey, I won. Oh, hey, I get the highest number, so that means I win them all. Yep. I won seven armor sets. So I keep the lead. I have a lot now. <laughs> wow, I got lucky right there. Okay, I got seven armor sets high. I won by I'm ahead of seven marmos. I'm seven marmos sets ahead of Pedro from second. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Yeah. See, that's what that's what makes crazy mode a little more difficult. Sometimes you might get it, you might don't. All right. So yeah, for that. Okay. Anyways, our first game is Trim Trials. Alright. First, it's as usual, it goes easy. If you're wondering what makes the minigames harder, is, for example, this minigame, just the, this train starts to go a little faster than it usually does, and 
the opponents can go a little hard on you. Like this one, I can I dodge the jump and duck under the obstacles a little more often. Yeah, they kind of just make, they make the difficulty harder. Just make the players just kind of just kind of go a little harder. They kind of score a bit more. To the point, the big point mini games. All right. Like usual, we're winning. Alright, so it's like Eva wins one arm set for this mini game. Okay, Peter wins two for this one. score was just by one point wow if I didn't dodge that obstacle then I wouldn't be able to get that that record let's see which one of you lets me down the least in that game if it wins one there wins two more in GSX you got five I got 15. Someone needs to get knocked down a peg or two. Mostly for my own amusement. Let's give the lowest scorer a chance to catch up by doing one of my favorite things. Stealing from the winner. Hit the button and let's see how uh -oh. bad things can get. Okay, it looks like I have to give um Eva some marmosets for me. Okay, I got one. Lost one marmoset. Okay, I'll try not to, uh, Nigel. Okay, yep, sometimes it might be a balloon, whoever gets the most, or it might be a game. Hey, you, the game that usually is is like Strike a Pose or, uh, or a bump. Strike a Pose, I don't think we played this one yet, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, how this game works is, oh, I forgot I could have read the instructions first. Okay. Alright, that's not originally how, how it works. Well, I mean, how, how long does it last? All you do is just wait until the music stops. When the music stops, press the A or B button to freeze. When there's one player left has not froze, now he loses a life. Lose all three, you're out of the, out of the game. So it's kind of based like survival minigame. Whenever we play that again, we'll, I'll explain. I'll read the well, instructions. I hope the rest of you were all paying attention. That's all right. how a real winner does it. Collect your prize, best player, and I see a real future for you. If you ever want a career as a supervillain, call me. All right, so I won that marmoset back. Well, wow, that was kind of a big little, little waste of time there. People, this is getting tedious. Let's continue until we have a winner. And I just need five more to win. Nigel, unless so, probably um, too many games. Okay, it's time for this one again. Yikes! My, if my, I don't win this one. Sometimes I struggle at this one. Sometimes. All right, here we go. It's Pedro. Oh no, he has his. Oh no, he has the shoe. Of course. A little game man. Okay. I get Okay. Ah. It's kind of hard to get the shoe because they. The opponents like to grab the shoe. That's one. That's another problem I forgot to mention about. It can get some hard difficulty. The. 
The opponents grab the power ups just immediately when they see it. Yeah, like crazy. When they see it, it pops up, they all try to grab it immediately. Ah, no. Why do we gotta be him? There we go. Oop. Thanks for the shield. Power up. A little speed boost. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Nuka got two. I don't know why I chose the Nuka. Oh, no. No, please not me. Please not me. Come on. Sting him. Ah. Sneak up, Boris. And. Alright. The controller kind of messed me up there. Not grab. Let me not come to. go. There's out. It's just me and... Oh, no. Why can't I hit on him? Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry. Right. I got two laps, so... I shouldn't be a problem. There we go. I won. Okay, yeah, I got lucky enough to win. That's one good thing. Alright. Another four mem member sets for me. Who among you managed to grab the most mama sets? That will be me. Again. I think I said that. I think I said that a lot of times in this video. Alright. And I just need one more to win. It's like yeah, this should be the last game for this episode. Okay, or she, or she say, last mini game in this in this episode. And it's gonna be ice hockey. All right, we're gonna end off. And this is gonna be the last mini game we'll ever play as blue in this walkthrough. So, all right, our last mini game. We're gonna play as blue. It's gonna be ice hockey. That's okay. Okay, um... There's one episode I'm planning on making is... You know, stay at party mode we have not played yet. Um... I'll should then the bonus video, because this is not really... I'm going to show in the... It's not really part of... There's... There's not really an adventure mode or anything to unlock. Everything's just already unlocked, so there's nothing that... There's something that's locked in this game. Target mode is just you slit and not many many games you can play, just like a little tournament or something. And you got quiz mode, um I should show that in the bonus video to show you what how's that work. Alright, there it goes. Head around. Oh wow. He even just lost the life at the same time there. Yeah, I win. Alright, there we go. That's another victory for us, and our last victory for Blue. I think it is time to say goodbye to Blue for this walk, because we're done to be nice Blue. Okay, and we, are, and we got a new score. We got five gold instead of four. One gold better. Our highest score in that in the game ever was seven, Blue or not. So yeah, I got Iron 7 in ever because of my Prince file. Uh, Ashley, I, Ashley, you're the loser, uh, Agile, because you are being, you are, you are mean, Agile. All right, and. I have one with 23. Second is Nico with 11. Third, Pedro with 9. Last is Eva with 7. Wow, they struggled with it. Well, 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 we have a winner. I must say, I'm almost impressed. Mm -hmm. You've lured enough marmosets to your dance line to start a small village. As for the rest of you, I've grown bored. Scram, vamoose. What are you waiting for? A trophy? Or a prize for coming in 
second? Yeah, of course there is, man. Because you're the villain, uh, Nigel. And so there you go, then. That's how crazy mode works in this, in this, in this mode. So yeah, that does kind of make this mode a little more difficult. And hey, we want a crazy challenger, a new team unlocked. One at Carnival Crazy Dance Mode, so yeah. Usually, yeah, you're in achievement for winning Crazy Mode. Kinda is. It's, and this, the, this mode can, can get even more difficult. This on hard. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably gonna be possible to beat this mode on Crazy Mode on hard. Wow, sure, I'm the Street Circuit Champion, huh? Thanks, game. Alright, so there we go, guys. We are officially done. You're officially done, Plants Blue. So, yeah, you may wonder, what's the next up gonna be? Well, we're pulling the modes. Except Party Mode, which I'll show in the bonus features video, probably. I don't know, I might think, I'll think about it. Anyways, next time let's play Rio. We're gonna be doing Story Mode again, but this time as Pedro for our next character. So yeah, uh, so here's what I'm gonna be doing. We'll be doing Blue and Pedro on Easy, Nico, Raphael on Medium, Eva and Jewel on Hard. I'm all the throughout throughout this throughout playing all these four modes in this walkthrough. So next time let's play Brio, we'll be doing start the first half story mode as Pedro on easy. So see you guys later, alligators. Bye bye everyone.